Hi YouTube. Today we'll be working on another home project. This time we have、uh, a slinger bag tennis machine. It's a, a great little machine. It's very convenient. You can take it to tennis court and、uh, practice your shots. And it is very portable. Just like a luggage, you can wheel them around. Very convenient. It works great until one day the battery died, and we were not able to charge the battery anymore. So now my plan is to figure out how to get the battery replaced. I looked up in the Slinger bag website. I can get a replacement. Battery is sitting right here, and it's around two hundred twenty dollars. Used to be sixty dollars. It's kind of expensive, so I'm trying to figure out if there's a way to replace this battery cheaper. This is the rechargeable battery from the Slinger bag. I did some、uh, testing with the multimeter. I'm not seeing any voltage from the steel terminals that goes to the to the tennis machine. As you can see there's no voltage here, even though I charged it、uh, overnight. So there's something wrong with the battery pack. My plan is to take this apart and see what's inside. So I'm just going to use a, a simple screwdriver and open up four screws. One here, one here, one here, one there. Right. So this is the cover, and here is the battery pack itself. Just like that. And then there is the wiring here.、Um, so there is the the red wire and the black wire. This is the charger. And this is goes to the tennis machine. So we need to just unplug this too. All right. So here is the outer side of the battery case, and here is the battery itself. So this one is a、uh, 14.4 volt with six、uh, to eight hundred milliamp hour. I did a lot of search and I found this other one here on Amazon. This one here is not—it's not exactly the same battery pack, but it has the similar specification. It has 4.4 volt and 6400 milliamp hour, so it's a little bit、uh, less powerful, but it's、uh, very close. So I decided to. To see if I can just replace that one with this one, and make this to work and save some money. This one is about fifty, sixty dollars, so we save half of the price. And if you if you can wait, then you can order even cheaper ones from like somewhere like AliExpress. Like it's only like ten, twelve dollars, but it's you're gonna wait for like two months. So I decided to give this a try. So my plan is to cut this wire here, and、uh, and just cut this wire here. This is the original wiring, so I can reuse the same connector that goes to the case. I'm pretty sure this will work. So let's give it a try. So this is the old battery. These two black wire come to the same、uh, to the same wire down there. The white wire goes down there to the same wire as well. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it from here and here, and then connect to the black and this other wire like that. That way, I can reuse these two connectors to connect to the battery case. So now I have the wires cut. The next step is to basically strip a little bit of wire from here, and then connect them together.
So this is what it looks like. The black wire comes out, connects to this other two black wire, and then the other wire comes out, connects to the red, and this two will then go there. So now I'm gonna ready to put it back. One problem with this replacement battery is that this is a little different in shape. This is much longer than the uh, the original battery. So in order for me to fit this new battery into the case, I'm thinking about cutting this a little bit down to the uh, bottom, just this one here, so I can put this battery inside the case completely. I'm going to use the YOB multi-tool with a standard blade. I just use this tool and kind of wind it a few times and cut it with a few slots. Yeah, I'm just going to go in with this uh, plier and then just kind of break it. So now I should be able to fit this battery in. It's completely inside the case. All right, so the battery is in the case. Now what I need to do is just connect these connectors. So the connectors are Terminators are connected. Now I'm ready to put the case back together. Well, before I do that, let me just test uh, the voltage here using my multimeter. All right, let's test the battery and see if we got any power now. Fifteen point two five. So we're good. All right, now we're ready to put everything back and give it a try. So now we just need to put this piece back. And then, then this piece back. And four screws on each side. So now everything is put back. Battery is in the case, so we are ready to plug this in back into the to the machine. Just need to connect the, this side to the launcher, and this one is for the charger. So now we're ready to put the battery pack back into the machine. So here is where the battery is on the lower left corner. And there is a connector inside. We need to connect to the battery pack. So let's do that. So now I've got the adapter plugged into the battery pack. So I'm going to slide it in. Put it in like that. And then we have four screws to secure it. So this is very simple, just just turn clockwise like that. Down with that. Then the last one. So last one. So now it's secured. Well, let's turn it on and see if it uh, at least turn on. Push the button here. Well, that's a very good sign. Shows battery is full. So let's take it out for Spain.